Hello. Witcher 3 is uh, finally here, and I thought I'd do a benchmark for the 970 on it. Performance, is generally what I've seen so far, is very good. This is on ultra settings, so I'll bring that up in a minute. Keep pressing start, it's actually back. Alright, so if we come over to the settings quickly. Video... There's post processing off options, sorry, which are all separate. There's pretty much everything you could want here. Got everything on for the purpose of this. Uh, AA is a toggle. To change this you need to actually go into an any file to like set what you want it at. But yeah, that's just defaulted to on on the highest. And then the actual graphics options here. Vsync on or off, you can actually set a maximum frame rate of either 30, 60 or unlimited. You can actually choose your display, goes all the way up to 4K, that's with DSR. Defaults to port this window, which seems to be fine. Hair works, I will show the effect of that in a minute. I've got this off for the moment. Everything else is at ultra. And photos range I've got down to high. I'll turn that up to ultra for a second. Right. Let's get back to it. Right, you can see the frame rate's down to 50 now. As I guess always keep in mind this is while recording because the performance will be about 10 to 20 percent worse. A few distances are pretty good. Um, I haven't got River Tuner working, but the highest VRAM this game has got up to is about 1.8 gigs so far. So extremely well optimized on that side. Not going to have an issue if you're running on a 780 or with the 970s 3.5 and the half a gig. If Memories uh, separation, but yeah, generally this works fine. But it's forty-five ish here. I keep pressing the wrong button. If we change the foliage density, it's a thing I noticed on the Nvidia tweaking guide. Is that setting itself makes a huge difference. So there we go, it's gone for 45 up to 57. It's a lot of better performance all around. So I recommend turning that down to from ultra down just to high, just because of the fact it doesn't make too much of a difference in terms of visibility, but the actual frame rate of impact is quite substantial. Oh by the by the way, with the quest this is right at the start, so don't worry about spoilers, I'm literally half hour in. Right, I'll just quickly show how it works and I'll move around. So this is with how it works off. Frame rate here is about 70 odd. Again, wrong button. I wish I'd changed that. Now... Is it post-processing? No. This seems to be the biggest hit. You can turn it from either Geralt or everything. If I just turn it onto everything, because that's the only... Geralt's the only one in sight here, so it wouldn't matter. You see that it's dropped from 70, 70 odd down to 56. That's how it does look better. But it's a kind of like a Team Raider affair where you're dropping a significant amount of frames just for some fancy hair. I was hoping it would run a bit better than this. If I go find my horse who's currently sat in a hedge. Faster. If I zoom in here, you can see the frame rate drops quite significantly. Let's go. But overall performance on this game has been really well. Um, if you're suffering from stuttering I recommend turning on VSync because I was running it around about 75 FPS but it felt like the game was running below that and had some weird micro stutter but turning on VSync seemed to clear that all up. Yeah so 44 there with the hair works on. So if I just have it here 45 FPS Go turn the hair works off. Uh, I missed it. So from 45 to about 65, 63. So that's quite a significant jump. Whoa there, Roach. So yeah, about 30% I think that is off the top of my head for hair works and a decent amount for the foliage density, so they're the main things you want to worry about. 
I'll leave it on these settings for a moment and I'll just gallop around to give you an idea of how it actually performs. The My 970 at the moment is overclocked to uh, 1410 MHz on core and 3700 on memory. So, not my heaviest overclock, but it's been the performance has been fine, so I haven't seen a reason to go higher than that. Oh shit! Nope, I'm running away from those. That was actually, let's give it a go. I saved it. Oh, okay. Um, turns out if you're level one and you try fighting level five, four. You're not going to do much damage. Come on. They seem weak to fire, though. As a uh, general, for anybody who's actually a Come fan on. of the series, um, been really enjoying this so far. The world seems massive. Combat seems a lot more fluent. Animations are a lot better. Run, run. And performance is really good, whereas Witcher 2 has some weird issues with it. I'm going to run away from that wolf behind me because my health is extremely low. You don't recover health like you did in the original, well, in Witcher 2, sorry. Have a look at some water there. It's, despite the uh, downgrade, it is a beautiful Come game still. Range. And can't complain too much because I should imagine if they didn't downgrade it, I wouldn't be able to run it as well as this. I'd probably be talking like 30 FPS. That's a different matter. Video RAM here is slightly creeping up, it's at 1830 megabytes. It's pretty small considering something like Far Cry. I think it's Far Cry 4, which is about 3 gigs of VRAM in some scenario like this. I don't like the idea of going through these woods, this does not look safe. Which descent has changed to that now? Slower. Yeah, I'm not going to save it anymore. Right, so let's go from all of that. Wrong settings again. I just turn the graphics back to what I have a on. Oh, I think I show as well. If I turn shadows down, as well. This one doesn't make a huge difference it, in terms of uh, fidelity, but also gives you a decent level of uh, performance increase. And I'll put the link to the NVIDIA's tweaking guide in the description. But they show like the effects of performance on each of the settings. And from shadows from ultra down to low, there isn't too much difference apart from like slight sharpening on the edge of shadows. But the frame rate difference Let's is go. actually quite significant. So, I mean, if you need extra performance, don't be afraid just to turn shadows down. Come on, Roach. But as you can see here, like 70 odd FPS, and it looks Absolutely amazing. That's so it, yeah, I'm um, not sure what else to show really because I can't get a demanding scene as it were. It's just a huge open world game. And I haven't gone too far into it because I don't want to give away spoilers or anything because I know how much people have been looking forward to the story. I'll just gallop around a bit more and then I'll finish this off. Once again, for performance, keep in mind this is while recording. Uh, okay, that's a big yawn. This is while recording, and this is with Shadow Pay on, so performance could be uh, down about 10%. Also, get the fact that it's windowed borderless, I'm not exactly sure how much that would affect performance over full screen, but Whoa. something to keep in mind. Move it. Come on now. Right, since I don't actually want to go that way, I need to check my quests, yeah. but I don't want to give stuff away. I think I'll call it here. So this is just the beginning area, so don't worry about spoilers. Nothing has actually happened yet. 
Yeah, here we go. Just before I go, even this here it's sat at 1750 megabytes of VRAM usage. So, very well done on that end. Right, just a quick video. I hope that was helpful for you though. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll probably know more once I've uploaded this. And there will be links to the tweaking guide in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and catch you soon.